Hallelujah, hallelujah. We give God the glory. Beloved, this is another day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Our good shepherd and the great I am through his blood of everlasting covenant has given us this day. We give him all the glory. We give him all the honor. We exalt his holy name. Beloved, it is by his power alone, let us pray. Immortal everlasting father, you alone deserve to be praised this morning. We thank you for the bread that you have given to your children around the whole world. It is your mercy that has protected us. We went to our various bed, but through your mercy, you have waked us up. We thank you. We adore you. We magnify. You deserve to be praised. So thank you, Lord. Thank you for what you have done for us this day. You alone has a breath. You have given us a breath because you own a life. May your will shall be done this morning in Jesus' name. I take this opportunity to greet the viewers of Prophet Kenneth. May you all be blessed for another day. For God has given us a word. And the word, may the word come and quench our test. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Beloved, the word for us this morning, the title of the word, the message is the day of the Lord. And without wasting time, we go to the scripture. First Thessalonians 5, 1 to 9. And I read, but concerning the time and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I should write to you for yourselves. Know perfectly that the day of the Lord so comes as a thief in the night. Three, for when they say, please and safety, then suddenly destruction comes upon them as a labor, as a labor pain upon a pregnant woman and they shall not escape for. But you brethren, you are not in the dark as this day should overtake you as a thief, five. You are all sons of the light and the sons of the day. We are not of the night nor darkness six. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober, seven. For those who sleep, sleep at all night. And those who get drunk are all drunk at night, eight. But let us who are of the, of the day, be sober, put on the blessed plates of faith and love, and as helmet of the hope of salvation. Nine, for God did not adopt us to wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. Beloved, this is the word from Apostle Paul. So he is telling us concerning the time and the season. Beloved, this is the time. This is the end time. There is no time to waste. So Apostle Paul is telling us that the time of this time is not a time because anything can happen. 
our Lord can appear any moment. Let us ourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord come as a thief. Beloved, we know when a thief wants to rob you or come to your house, he doesn't give you notice. He come at the time he wants while you are asleep. So our Lord Jesus Christ can appear any moment. But the question is, are we prepared? Are we watching or we are far asleep? We don't have to sleep, but rather we have to watch. As he said, he is coming with his mighty angels and all I will see him in the sky. But when you are asleep, how are you going to see our Lord when he appears? Or when you are drunk, as the scripture we read, he said those who drank, they drank all night. So beloved, this is in time for enjoyment. It is time to watch and pray, to know our Lord Jesus Christ, the one who created you and I. We have to be prepared. The trumpet can sound any moment, but are you prepared to meet your maker? Beloved, let us be aware. We we'll continue. Therefore, let us not asleep as others do. Who are others? This is the question. Those who are not prepared to meet our Lord, those who doesn't want to accept our Lord Jesus Christ. Those who want to do their own thing. But beloved, this life is not your own. It belongs to him. He alone created mankind. He alone died for our sin. So you can be asleep. Be prepared. So that's why he said, we can sleep. You are all sons of the light. God created us all. He is the light. The devil doesn't have anything for you and I. He is a thief. He comes to steal, to destroy, and to kill. But our Lord Jesus Christ, he alone has the light. That's why he said, I am the light of this world. I am the way, the truth, and the light. Hallelujah. He is a wonderful God. Seven says, for those who sleep, sleep at night. When you sleep fast sleep, how can you pray? How can you glorify him? How can you honor him? The night where the demons and the witches, they operate and you are far asleep. You cannot sleep at night, but rather to watch and pray. He is coming for his saints. Are you prepared to watch and to know when the trumpet sounds? Oh, mighty Jesus. But let us who are of the day, when he said, let us who are of the day, those who watch, those who want fellowship, those who pray and worship him. Because this is why he created you and I. For our sins, he died on the cross. So we should be sober. For those who, who get drunk, they are not sober. Their disobedience, they don't know. They don't fellowship. They are far asleep. Are you one of them? Oh, we give God the glory. For God did not appoint us to the wrath. God does not want any of his children to perish. He is a merciful God. He is a good God. He loves souls. 
So beloved, are we prepared to serve our maker, the one who created you and I, the one who owns everything? Are we prepared? He has given us salvation. What a greatest gift. But still, people are rejecting. So this morning, Apostle Paul is telling us that we don't have to sleep and sleep or get drunk, but rather to watch and pray so that when the trumpet sound, we will hear and he is coming for his saints so that if you or I are among it, we be alert. We thank you, Lord. We glorify your name, the good shepherd, the I am that I am. For your word is everlasting to everlasting. And like you said, all things will pass away, but your word will never pass away. We thank you. We adore you. We honor you. For us to know that you are coming soon. May your will shall be done this morning over us. Holy Spirit, we thank you for guiding us, protecting us. You are a good friend, our comforter, our friend, and our guide. May the will of God be done upon us. Unto thee, O Lord, all things are possible. We give you all the glory. I take this opportunity, our Lord Jesus Christ, the Savior, the Master, the King, your servant that you have ordained this morning. May you bless him and protect him because you call him to win souls for you. And your servant is doing what you told him to do, preaching the good news to his viewers, those who are prepared to listen, or those who are prepared to be with you. As you said, we should prepare. You are coming soon. May his viewers be blessed. And all what they desire, Master Jesus, may you help them and protect them and guide them. In your mighty name, all things are possible. We give you all the glory. In your mighty name, I pray. Amen.